Hi, Chris Cinnamon, head instructor at Chicago Tai Chi here. In this video, I'll guide you through move three of the 27 move Wu Style Tai Chi short form. If you haven't seen my videos on move one or move two, I'll encourage you to check those out as well because they'll fill in the details of how you get up to here. But if you just landed on this video, hey, stick with me, you'll do just fine. So for starters, to begin Tai Chi, we want to briefly stand and align ourselves. And we basically want to align ourselves in a more or less balanced, relaxed, vertical posture. There's some details, some alignments we can put in place. First, feet approximately parallel, approximately under the hips. Knees soft, unlocked. Then feeling your lower back, relax that area, relax the tailbone down. Lightly open in your midriff to open up your abdomen. And then lightly lift up the spine. You let your arms hang comfortably at your sides, a sense of openness in the armpits. And just stand for a moment, take a couple breaths to clear yourself, land in your body to begin to do Tai Chi. So follow me as you inhale, exhale, release, and relax. Inhale, exhale, release, and relax. And now we'll begin the lesson. For those of you that have had the lesson on move one uh, and two, you can follow me. Uh, for those of you who haven't, we'll, we'll get to where we, we start to move three. So follow me. Lightly bend, stretch, bend, stretch. Shift weight to your right, arms up to the side, bend, stretch. Now wrap, make the circle in front of you. Step with your left, take your left pulse. So that's the end of move two. And this is where we start, move three. So we'll uh, break down move three into the bottom part and then the top part, and then we'll put it together. The lower body movement components of move three uh, involves rotation. And this is the first time in short form where we begin to turn the hips. And then we pretty much turn the hips in almost every move after that. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an integral movement component to Tai Chi. So for starters, you can place your hands on your belly, your weight's on your left, you're taking a small step landed lightly on the left heel. Here's what we do. We begin by turning our hips to approximately somewhere between 30 and 60 degrees to your right. So now turn your hips back to the center. Turn your hips. Reset. Turn your hips. And note the leg and foot come along with the hips. Reset. One, turn your hips. Reset. One, turn your hips. Now, the second movement component is familiar because we did this in move two, and that's a weight shift. So now, shift weight. And you can look down and check your feet. If you feel a little bit pigeon-toed, that's, that's all right. That's what we're aiming for here in move three. So back to a starting point. Turn your hips. Shift weight. Reset. Turn your hips. Shift weight. Reset. Turn your hips, shift weight, reset. Turn your hips, shift weight. Now there's one detail, one knee health detail I need to touch upon here. When you introduce rotation in Tai Chi, you introduce the potential to put forces through your knee that may be uncomfortable. So when you turn your hips in this move, if you feel any torque or any uncomfortable pressures going through your weighted leg, just turn your hips less, for starters. And over time, you'll develop greater sensitivity and skill at aligning your knees so you can turn your hips more and maintain your knee alignments and not have any discomfort. But at the start, if you do feel discomfort in your weighted leg, just turn your hips less. So let's try that again. Shift weight, take the small step, put your hands on your abdomen. 
One, turn your hips. Two, shift weight. One more time. One, turn your hips. Two, shift weight. Next, the hands. So we'll go back to the end of move two. So you shift weight to your right. Take a small step with your left. Make this circle. Now take your left pulse. Your hands are more or less on center line. The hands are more or less pointed up. And ideally, you feel a sense of connection into the back, and you're going to a nice light stretch through the shoulders and upper back. So now we're going to take the lower body out of this. So just bring your feet back to neutral position. And here's what we do with our hands. So the top hand moves first, and it slides in front of the bottom hand. Now you make an X. Reset. Top hand slides in front of the bottom hand. Then we get wrist to wrist. We've made this X. Reset. One. Wrist to wrist. Reset. One. Wrist to wrist. Reset. Now, which hand moves first? Top hand. Slides in front of the back hand. Goes wrist to wrist. Next, in count two, the back hand's going to move. It slides wrist to fingers like this. Reset. Taking your left pulse. One, wrist to wrist. Two, wrist to fingers. Reset. One, wrist to wrist. Two, wrist to fingers. One more time. One, two. Now let's put the top and bottom together. So again, shift weight to your right. Take a small step with your left. Take your left pulse. Here's the end of move two. So count one, turn your hips, wrist to wrist, and pause. Weight's still on your left. You're no longer facing straight ahead. You've turned a little bit. And the top hand has come wrist to wrist. Feel that position. Then reset. One. Turn your hips, wrist to wrist. Reset. One. Turn your hips, wrist to wrist. Reset. One, turn your hips, wrist to wrist. Now, shift weight. The back hand moves wrist to fingers. And this is the final position of move three. Reset. Put that together. One, turn your hips, wrist to wrist. Two, shift weight, wrist to fingers. Reset. One, wrist to wrist, shift weight two, wrist to fingers. Reset. One, two. Reset. One, turn your hips, wrist to wrist. Two, shift weight, wrist to fingers. Reset. One, two. So I want to want to layer in a detail there. The lessons and moves one and two, you may recall, or if you haven't seen those yet, you'll see those, that uh, those moves incorporate bending and stretching, a fundamental movement pattern of Tai Chi. So in move one, here's a bend, here's a stretch, here's a bend, here's a stretch. Move two, here's a bend, here's a stretch, there's a wrap. And then we step and stretch at the end. So we continue that movement pattern in move three. So here's a bend. It's a small bend. It's not a big bend. It's a small bend. And then we shift weight and we stretch. And again, it's not a big stretch. But you can see there's some bending in the legs and the arms. And then some stretching up the legs, up through the arms, and right up through the top of the head. So let's, let's incorporate that bend and stretch. So weights on your right, taking a step with your left. 
Here we go. Little bend, shift weight, stretch. And feel that stretch come up from the legs, up into your arms, up to the top of the head. One more time. Bend, stretch. Now, this move can be called single hand pung. Single hand pung. And in Mandarin, pung uh, connotes rising, expanding energy. And maybe you can see that at the end of this move. And that's not a big deal to start, but just so that you have some context for the, the name for this move, single hand pung. So here, watch. Here's one. And now watch the rising, expanding here in my right hand. That is single hand pong, the name for move three. So what I'd like to do to wrap up this lesson, uh, for those of you that have seen the moves one and two lesson, we'll put this all together. For those of you that would like to follow through that and haven't seen those lessons yet, uh, please do. But I encourage you to go back so you can get the details of moves one and, and two. So ready, begin. One, two, three, four. Shift weight to your right. One, two. Wrap, step with your left. Take your left pulse. Turn wrist to wrist. Shift weight, wrist to fingers. Moves one through three. Smoothly back to neutral. Let's do that one more time. Ready, begin. Bend, stretch. Oh, that feels good. Bend, stretch. Bend, stretch, wrap, step, finish, take your pulse. Turn wrist to wrist, shift weight, wrist to fingers. Smoothly back to neutral. Thanks for joining for this lesson. Please leave, uh, leave your comments and questions uh, below this video, and we'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.